beauty brainwashing, I think, is is absolutely it, it exists and it's it's prevalent everywhere. And it, I think it's only getting more and more so that way, especially with um, social media. I think that when you're when you're out there in the world and and you're seeing more and more of the of the, the you know brainwashing of of what beauty should be or what should it what it should look like. You just have to be careful to protect yourself. Knowing what I know now, if I could go back, I would tell my younger self that actually, first of all, curly hair is beautiful in all of its forms. That's something that I totally see now that I just didn't see when I was younger. And also, I think a lot of times um, when people are making fun of you, it's it's probably because you have something that they wish they had or that they don't know much about. Um, and so it's not bad to be unique. It's not bad to have something that's not the norm. And had I spent the time really embracing it and getting to know it, I probably would have found a way to style it that I actually really liked. I think I was just so afraid to, to do anything with it that I, I didn't get, give it the chance and give myself the chance to really understand and, and know it.